What's up peeps and welcome back to Sorrel Plays. Today I am, my hair looks very frizzy because I've just um, used the colour remover all over. See the previous video for that. Like I said in that video, it stinks like a sewer. I'm going to go for the balayage ombre look. Two highlights in. Um, as I always mention in all my hair videos, I've got a red tinge to my hair, so it ends up going this colour whatever I do, even without dyeing it. Of course, I do have some highlights in there. Um, if you watched my tacky highlighting video, this one turned out really nice. Look at that. I love that. This is the colour I'm going for today, as light as possible. So let me get on with it. I have bought the Jerome Russell Blonde High Lift Powder Bleach. Jerome Russell Cream Peroxide, which is a 40 light to dark brown hair. So obviously it's going to do well on these ends. And that's all easy and quick and hopefully successful. You can see the indication of the colour result on dark brown is that beautiful very light blonde it's not focusing just concentrate on the colors here so on my ginger bits it should go that color now that's great you can always cut those off if it gets really bad my hair is already very dry and very so dry it's like straw that is my hair type the elements don't help it's not very sunny here ever so i don't really know why i end up with hair this color but here we go, I'm gonna get on with this. I'm gonna hope for the best. And if it doesn't work, I mean, it will work. I've just washed it, but if it doesn't work as well as I want it to, I've got four packs of bleach in here and I've got loads of the peroxide. So I'm gonna start by splitting my hair up. Oh God, itchy nose. I cut it at least five or six times a year. And I cut a few inches off if you see my hair cutting video. I don't go to the hairdressers ever because I don't feel like they know what to do with my hair. And when I walk in, everybody wants to go on their lunch break. <sighs> so more manageable sections here. This brush is brilliant though. It's a detangling brush. And I don't know how I lived before I got this brush. Right, let's get comfy. We're gonna be here for a while. And we need to make a decision about how much of this hair we're actually covering. Let me down a little bit. I have to cut off my head instead. In goes the powder. This better work, and then we're going to put the cream in. Ooh, plop. Should probably just leave this upside down for a few, few minutes and come back to it. Okay, I'm just going to finish pouring okay, this in. Mixing it now. Fascinating. Blue bleach. Wow. 75 ml bottle and one 25 gram pouch of powder. Very professional over here. We're doing things right so far. Oh, this looks gorgeous. And it doesn't stink like the other one did. I didn't actually buy any conditioner or anything to use after. I think hair dye conditioners are fabulous and I think they should sell them separately. So whenever your hair needs a boost, you don't necessarily need to dye it. You could uh, just use the conditioner on it because I think they make your hair in very good condition. After all this um, bleaching the shit out of my hair, I don't think it's going to be in good condition, but it's not anyway. So who knows, I might just shave it all off one day. I do keep still get tempted to cut it, but I kind of enjoy having long hair at the same time. I can't seem to do it. I've got my own gloves somewhere because I hate the gloves they provide. <sighs> That's getting a bit bleachy. Mm. Got the window open. As you can probably hear, people cutting grass and stuff outside non-stop today. A few lumps in it, but I think that'll do. Get the gloves on. And hopefully we don't make a mess of this. If I don't have enough to do all of this, I'm actually pooped. This is basically my test of if this is going to work. Is it going to go blonde enough? Or am I going to end up with more ginger hair I don't know what to do with? Nothing against ginger hair, by the way. This is harder than it looks to do. That's all I've got so far. Oh, no. Hang on. I need another clip on this towel. The mess. 
and the smell. drawing some highlights in. I don't know how effective this is going to be but to be honest it can't be worse than what my hair is right now. Okay it's time to wash it off guys. It looks promising. We'll see. I go on the school run so I couldn't finish the video then but it's dried and yes it looks a little bit dry I do need to style it it definitely looks a lot blonder I'm gonna style it a little bit so you can see more of a finished result I should not be brushing it because it's gonna get very frizzy even frizzier than it is right now I had the top tied up in a bun, that's why the top looks pretty reasonable and less frizzy. Got my tips for frizzy hair coming up soon and which products I like to use. This is basically my saviour when it comes to frizzy hair. Olive oil spray, it's got coconut oil in it. it smells a little bit funky but you'll see how much difference it makes after I choke in here. <laughs> don't think my lungs can take any more smells, strong smells today. You can see the difference left and right. As soon as you put some of this oil spray on and even give it a little twirl, maybe not that way, it does calm down quite considerably and it's possible to get rid of the frizz using this the other side as well. I don't like to use too much of this because it does make it a little bit greasy but I just use it for the ends mainly and depending on what way my hair wants to twist today but you get the idea. I'll put a couple of photos up of when I've done it properly and my hair will look nicer tomorrow but yeah I'm quite pleased with that result and from my hair colour remover video you can see after I've washed it a couple times more the red has gone so I'm going to continue doing this so you'll probably notice in my videos that my hair is getting blonder and blonder on the ends and that's it guys thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video Peace out.